I'm Jeff Hammond with BoatTest.com, and we're here at Metz Trade in Amsterdam. This is the largest exhibition of recreational marine equipment in the world. And today, we're going to take a look at the new electric outboard motors. There's so many to see. Let's get started. So let's start with the Vision Marine Technology outboard motor. They're very high profile and we've just spoken to their engineers here and they say it's 180 horsepower continuous, even higher peak. And the motor, as you can see here, is very conventional down below. This is a Tahatsu lower unit. Powering this outboard motor is lithium ion a battery pack made by Cressel in Germany and it is uh, considered one of the best ones in the business. This battery pack, and, and most of them, uh, consist of these little cells, and they're packed together. Now the problem with them is they can overheat, and what Crystal has done is they have a fluid made by Shell, it's called E-Fluid, and they put it in here, and it keeps the batteries cool. I'm here with Ingrid Cannell, and Hi. she's gonna tell me and tell you about this new outboard engine. How many horsepower does it have? It's uh, 120 to 150 horsepower. It's continuous power, yes. Okay, 120 to 150. Mm -hmm. Who makes it? Uh, we do. You do? Yeah. So basically, we're assembling different components, but the main technology that you have inside that we call the e-brain, is controlling all the components and giving the power. So this is our manufacturer in Norway that is doing it. And then we buy different components around the world, the best in the market that we have found. And we build uh, this beast that is called the Gale Force. I see. And um, by building the motor, I mean, who makes the actual windings of, of the motor? We do. You make that? Yeah, we do. And now we have so far uh, sold six of these that are in pilot project right now. This uh, baby is going into production uh, next year and uh, otherwise we sell the inboard system that is even higher output. Where did you get this lower unit here? <laughs> we haven't announced publicly the partnership yet. Looks like a Mercury to me. It might be. It might be. <laughs> you might be wrong too. I don't know. <laughs> when are you going into production? Uh, for this one, the production starts uh, in January 2022. We are already booking orders for this one, and the pilot projects are already in running. And where is it going to be manufactured? In Norway. How many do you plan to make your first year? Uh, 100 is the goal. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your fill-in. It's <laughs> an exciting new product. Definitely. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm here with Gun Kim, uh, who is the planning director of Electrine. Electrine is a company that was started in, well, tell us, when was it started? Yeah, we started our business from uh, 2010, which is roughly 11 years this year. This has 115 horsepower. How many kilowatts does it have? It's uh, 55 kilowatts. You started manufacturing? Yes. In 2018? 18, yes. At that time, the market was not ready. So we didn't uh, sell that much of the product. Hopefully the next year can sell more products. How many have you made so far? 40 units. 40? 40. 40 units. And okay. then most of them are uh, sold in the South Korea. And just like roughly 10 units are sold uh, internationally. I see. Now, do you plan to sell these in the United States? We do have a plan to sell the, uh, the system. And uh, we have uh, so many uh, numerous calls from the US, United States for providing the, our engine to the, uh, the, the U.S. So right now. right now, the smallest motor that you're making is what? how, how many horsepower? Uh, right now it's a 40, it's about, the, I just said, uh, this uh, developed the second generation of the motor. So right now it's uh, 90 horsepower and, and the one, uh, 15 horsepower is available this moment. I see. Okay. And you have plans to make bigger ones and smaller ones? We are planning to have a 40 to 60 renewal version uh, next year, hopefully next year. And then we also have a plan to have a 180 version uh, at the end of the next year. And then uh, we do have a more of a bigger engine for, if you're talking about the inboard, 
So we have a 350 horsepower inboard system available at this moment. Right now? Yeah, right, right now? now? Yes. Have you sold any? Yes, we already sold like us uh, the four units. Four units. Yeah. Uh, we are almost finishing the project to provide the e-ferry with uh, 700 horsepower. We have a twin uh, three, 350 engines and then with uh, two megawatt battery packs on the bat, on the on the boat. Uh, two megawatts, that's yes. incredible. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Gun thank Tim. You. All have right. a good show. All right, thank you. I'm here in the Aquaforce booth with Klaus Lehmann, who is an electrical engineer and a boater, has a 33-foot uh, sailboat. Klaus, tell us about it. I thought, okay, let's do something really crazy. Let's take a 200 kilowatt power electric motor with 400 kilowatt peak and put it in outboard. We have chosen the Oxelec because they, they work with diesel engines and they have also a huge torque. We have maximum torque of 800 newton meter at the motor shaft itself and it means over 1,000 newton meter torque at the propeller shaft. So how many horsepower is this motor? 200 kilowatt multiplied 1.36 but you have to consider that the acceleration is 10 times more from an electric engine compared to a combustion engine. Well, you, yes, and you talked about the tremendous torque. So how are you getting that tremendous torque down here to the propeller? There's a belt inside. There's a belt? Yeah. So so that case is a prototype. Uh, Oxa provided us Oxa Marine from Oxa Sweden. Marine. Yeah, okay, yeah. you're using the same uh, lower units uh, belt system is, that they yeah, use. Exactly. Because a normal output case, we will we will destroy it. We used uh, a dyno, dyno from Dynamite. Dynamics is also an American company. We, we destroyed the torque sensor with that monster. So that is really, the torque is huge. And uh, with that Dynamite test bench, we really forced that engine up to 55 degree hot water to find out Where's the borders? The border was the dyno test. <laughs> yeah. So this is really a monster. This is noisy, this is loud, but it has enormous power. Is this the number one unit? Yeah. This is number uh, one. From the outboard, yes. This is a standard components from our field. So if you put it to a stern drive, that's standard issues what we use for each stern drive. What okay, we sell. have you tested this yet? Yeah. In a boat? Yeah. So, no, the outboard not. The outboard we have tested just at the dyno test because we have repeatable conditions. I'm here with Josh Beck and he is the founder of Romico. One of the founders, One yeah. One of the founders, all right. And uh, he's developed this remarkable outboard motor that has won honorable mention at Met's trade. So, Josh, tell us all about it. This is our uh, Remigo electric motor, and it looks like a rudder, but what we've done is actually, we've taken advantage of electric technology, and we've made an electric motor that really looks like what we think the future should look like. We've uh, put all of the cells in the main body right here, and the motor obviously is on the bottom, and this gives us a fairly stylish shape of the motor. And what we did is we really focused on the, on the user and tried to make the user experience as easy as possible. So pretty much all you have is two buttons on the top and you push one to go forward, press it down to go faster and the other one to slow it down or of course to change the direction of movement. And if you push both buttons at the same time, that stops the motor. In case you fall off the boat or have some sort of issue, you can just remove the kill switch and the motor stops. Now, what we're really proud of is the fact that we build the motor around the fact that the battery is integrated inside. So when you get to the marina, when you get to the port, you can just remove the safety pin and take the entire motor off. And this mounting bracket can stay on your boat so you don't need to carry around unnecessary mass. As for the motor, what used to be your steering stick now becomes the handling stick and you can just carry it, for example, to lunch, charge it with our fast charger in three hours, come back to the boat. Put on the kill switch and off you go. So this motor is equivalent to around a two and a half to three horsepower internal combustion engine. So it will happily power any dinghy, any smaller sailboat, 
And we are thinking about sailors, so for example, if you're using it on your sailboat right now, you can steer it like this, but if you put the steering rod in the vertical position, it locks it in place, so you can use your existing rudder to steer the boat and just use the Remigo for power. Very clever. Thank you well, very much. Well, congratulations, Josh, on a wonderful product. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's a wrap for part one of our electric outboard motor coverage. Be sure to watch for part two when we bring you a peek at five more unusual motors. For Boattest.com, I'm Jeff Hammond reporting.